Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. Uh, today is going to be a little bit something a little bit different. We are back at Deep Cove. We did a cleanup here last year. Um, we removed a lot of garbage, but today we're back here at Deep Cove Kayak Center and uh, we're going to reset their anchor for them. They lost their chain and the anchor uh, in a storm in the winter, so we're going to go and um, get things set up. Got some new chain, we just took a little bit of practice on land to get all the chain laid out and uh, make sure we have the correct links, which we don't, but we managed to figure a way out around it. But let's, let's get set up. Okay, can you give me an eyeball of where I should be going down approximately? So what I'm doing here is um, the first thing I have to do is find the original anchor block. It is a um, an old engine, a big chunk of metal buried in the silt. Uh, obviously there's no more line attached to it because he lost it. During my dive, I'm always looking for garbage. So here's the funny thing. I found one shoe, it was swimming in a random direction, found it the other shoe. I literally had to look to see if they were the same shoe, and of course they were. So somewhere there's a kid who had gone out on a probably a stand up paddle board or something, fell in and had those shoes now. So it was pretty difficult to find the engine block. Uh, the first attempt kind of went in the wrong direction. Um, I only missed it by a few feet. So the second attempt I dropped down and looked to my left and literally there it is, engine block. So what I'm doing is I'm using the line here um, a buoyant line going to the surface so that we can tell where the old block is so that we can actually drop the new anchors as well as the chain right next to that block and this is what Mike is doing now okay so start dropping the chain So I was really hoping to get the concrete blocks uh, on one side of the engine block and then the chains as we're dropping it just a few feet away but not stacked on top of each other because then I, I don't have to deal with reorganizing the pile. But as I went down I, I saw our handiwork which is essentially the chain is on one side of the engine block and then the concrete that we dropped is pretty much right next to it. So I spent about 60 seconds here literally inspecting the engine, trying to find a spot to actually thread the chain through and and I just couldn't see it. There's rope that's actually threaded through and the rope is um, really falling apart. You can see here they're kind of janky, but uh, I can't actually see how the rope is actually threaded through the engine block and therefore I didn't have a way of really putting the chain through it. So I decided to just put the chain through the rope, which you just saw, and then from there the chain is going through the hole in the center hole of the first block, pull it through, position that block next to the engine, and then thread the second block and so on. I was really lucky to be able to get these blocks, these concrete blocks, pretty much right next to each other. Um, that just meant I didn't have to go look for them. And the fact that I can just move from one block to the next to work on them, what a, what a stroke of luck as far as being able to drop them on top of each other. Here you get a much better view of how the concrete blocks are stacked next to each other. The chain is threaded through. Um, you can see the mess of ropes right there. So here's the end shackles. What I'm doing is I'm coming around and I gotta 
secure the end to back to the main chain itself. So um, basically the chain is now in a running in a loop around um, all of the pieces of concrete as well as the engine block. And the last thing that I have to do is uh, take a zap strap and thread it through the little hole on the shackle pin and then through the shackle itself. And this is just to make sure that if the chains are getting rattled through wave action, that the, uh, the shackle pin doesn't work itself loose. Um, and obviously, and then that'd be bad. So that's zap strapped in place. And then if we ever had to work on this, the shackle pins have been coated with never seize. The, that just makes it so much easier. It doesn't actually corrode. Uh, the, it, well, it corrodes, but it just doesn't bond to each other. Um, that was really hard work, that, trying to fit this abstract through the little holes. That, that actually took a long time. Well guys, the dive is done. That was a hard dive in the sense of it's super cold. Um, had to hover and try to thread zap strap <coughs> onto uh, just trying to thread it through the shackle to secure the the pin. Um, that was hard to do. And of course, the the longer I hung out, the colder my fingers got, the harder it was to do. So anyways, first dive since the sinus surgery implant, everything felt good, equalized, no issues. It was a fun dive. I'm glad I got that done for those guys. That's the anchor for their, um, they have a couple of larger boats that they anchor that and they broke the chain this year and in a storm. So I'm glad we got that done for them. Um, we'll see them again in September for our annual cleanup at the government dock there. That's where a lot of the kids uh, party in the summertime, huck stuff into the water. So we usually get probably like anywhere from 300 to 500 pounds of garbage. All right, see you at the next video. Thanks for hanging out with me.